Scotland center Cameron Redpath is the fourth international to sign a contract extension with Bath as the Premiership club start preparations for next season. Redpath follows Tom Dunn, Will Stewart and Sam Underhill and committing to Bath ahead of 2023-24, with Finn Russell joining from Racing 92 after the World Cup. Excited about the future while Brian Redpath spent most of his playing career at Sale Sharks, his son Cameron left Sale to join Bath in the summer of 2020. While he has struggled with injuries, he earned his maiden test cap for Scotland during the 2021 Six Nations, where he produced a man of the match performance in Scotland's first win over England at Twickenham in 38 years. He featured again for Scotland this November, and his recent fitness has allowed him to cement his place in the Bath squad under Johan van Grand. I'm grateful for the opportunity to extend my time here at Bath, Redpath told Bath's official website. Oh, I have absolutely loved every minute here so far and I'm starting to get into a rhythm of games which I've lacked over the past few seasons. Redpath says he has enjoyed his time at the recreation ground and is excited about what the future holds. I have absolutely loved every minute here so far, and I'm starting to get into a rhythm of games which I've lacked over the past few seasons. Redpath says he has enjoyed his time at the recreation ground and is excited about what the future holds. I have absolutely loved every minute here so far and I'm starting to get into a rhythm of games which I've lacked over the past few seasons. Redpath says he has enjoyed his time at the recreation ground and is excited about what the future holds. After a difficult couple of years with injury, Cam has shown how exciting a talent he is this season, Van Grant said. He is fast establishing himself as an international standard centre with Scotland and is a key part of our midfield at Bath. Bath fell to a narrow 20-15 loss to Exeter Chiefs in their last Premiership match and have the opportunity to move off the bottom of the standings when they host Newcastle on New Year's Eve.